okay so obviously a new arrival just quickly quickly unbox it there um obviously from the title of the video it's no surprises what it is so uh yeah enjoy okay then so what i'm gonna do obviously is a proper first impressions just a day's way you can't say much about it after just a day can you really so but this deserves that first impressions oh, i really don't want to ruin the packaging that bow is lovely but uh, let's get into it. And if you didn't know, this is what it is. Love, don't be shy. Extreme. What I'm looking forward to. This. I'm rather excited. That's in the bulk standard box. I don't seem to do the crossways anymore. But it saves me money, I suppose. Right, let's get cracking. So, oh, look at that bottle. It is beautiful. Okay, so it's, it's just like the other uh, bottles in the narcotics line. Um, nice. Silver writing on that. I think that's it on a gold plaque. It's very, very lovely. Um, it'd be standard Killian bottle, really. The liquid is a uh, a little gold. It's not, it's not like the red. Um, Love, don't be shy. Although that may change in time. So here it is. Here is the big thing. So right, that's on there. Give myself a few sprays. Oh my. Oh my. I can already smell this. Oh, oh, it, it, it definitely has the DNA of love. Don't be shy, as you'd imagine. A bit of the. Obviously, this is first impression, so not detailed on the notes, just what I get. Well, you get that. Uh, oh, that fresh pop of um, the, the lovely sweet orange blossom, the heavy. Orange blossom, the vanilla, the, the, the tiniest bit of like a fresh neroli through it, but that, that's gone now. And yes, you do start to get, it smells redder, like a, like a waxy rose. I wouldn't say it's a particularly jammy rose right now or, or bright, like a, a waxy redness. <laughs> Under with uh, the original DNA underneath it. Oh, it it is good. It is bloody gorgeous. So I'll come back when it's settled, and then I'll kind of do do a day through it. Oops. But yes, that is the beautiful thing. Okay, just about to get off out. Uh, it's about I don't know, half an hour later. Um. Now you get a bit of difference from the original. I'd say the rose is there, but again, it's a very, it's a sweet rose. And it's what the main difference I'd say between this and the original, I'll just spray before I go out. Oh yeah, on another, there we are. Is, um, is that this one's perhaps drier. It's still got that sweetness, but it's not a, the other one's very, it's not bubblegummy, but it's very, it does kind of have that kind of ultra sweetness. The sweetness is still there, this is still sweet, but it's much smoother, like maybe more vanilla and the, oh god, I can smell it again. And the, and the rose just gives it a little balancing touch, like, like the rose tames it, if you like what I mean. It just adds a different kind of feeling to it. And close up, you can smell the rose. Much more actually. Actually, I can smell the rose a lot with my nose in it, but in the air, at the moment anyway, it's still very um, like the original, but it is very, very nice. So now we're probably coming close to an hour on it, and it's kind of like a, a smooth, vanilla -y rose with, with the original DNA, but the rose seems to have got a bit. A bit redder and a bit more prominent now. Oh, it's, it's just bloody lovely. It is very nice. Definitely a, a little more distinctive from the original. 
Um, still got the DNA there though, you still know what it is. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Don't need to patter on. There's also a little, probably a little touch of musk coming through now. It's gorgeous. So now we're probably two or three hours into it and it smells. It hasn't changed too much. Maybe it's a little more, again, like the other one, except it's actually a bit more musky and a bit more powdery. It's still beaming off me. It's still a big, nasty cloud. Yeah, so all in all, just a bit, a little more powdery than the original. That's probably the rose. And a little kind of smoother and more musky. But um, yeah, I'll come back tonight um, and we'll see, see how it completely dries down. Okay then, so it's not really changed much. I mean, the original doesn't change too much, but it's still very strong. It's still jumping off my skin. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, it's all around me. We're talking eight hours or so, aren't we now? Um, still very strong though and still very beautiful. It again, like I say, it's not changed much. A little bit powdery, a little bit creamier than the original. And a little bit redder smelling still with a rose. Absolutely gorgeous. Excuse that car. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll do a little conclusion when I get home, but it's it's a wonderful fragrance. Um, very happy with it. Not miles away from the original, but certainly very, very lovely. Okay, so like the final kind of conclusion of it's only one day and it's only first impressions. But, uh, what was it like? Well, I think we are eight, maybe nine hours now. After it, I can still smell it strong. It's still all around me uh, in like a cloud. Oh my God. Um. So what do I think? Well, obviously I've not looked at the notes properly, so I've just given you like basically just the basics of what I've got. Um, is it stronger than the original in it, as in an extreme aversion? Um, the original is very strong anyway, isn't it? Um, it lasts, I mean, we're talking eight, nine hours now, and I can, it's still coming off my skin and I can still smell it. So yeah, it lasts, it lasts a long time. Um, now, is it different? Um, you you certainly start to notice more differences. It, like I say, it's more powdery. It, it's maybe a little smoother, maybe a little creamier. I don't know if it's the right word, but maybe the rose gives it like a more of a, a creamy feel, whereas the original is quite a sticky one, even as it dries down. And now it's just, oh, it's lovely. It's just like a powdery, slightly musky beautiful thing you definitely smell a lot of the original in it of course you do it's a flanker but um i suspect the more i wear it the more i'll notice the differences like like the rose the pomegranate i know there's pomegranate in it maybe that was the slightly sh greener and i said the, like very at the very beginning it was a little bit of a sharper thing not greener that's the wrong word a little bit of a kind of fresher kind of feel maybe that was the pomegranate um in the dry down i don't really notice much else but like i say this is just a day this is you know and i've not been sniffing myself every five seconds or anything so is it a winner hell yes it's a winner is it worth um what's it 40 50 quid more than the original do you know um I don't know, but it, I, it's beautiful. I don't regret buying it or paying for it. I have probably about 30 mils of the original in various different forms kicking about. So um, does it make the original redundant? Um, I don't know, it depends what a fan you are. If, you, if you're only gonna get one and say get this, um, but this isn't as, Bubblegum's the wrong word. This isn't as sweet or or loud or do you know what I mean? Or cheeky as the original. This is a bit more of a sophisticated grown-up version, but still has that sweetness. But it's kind of a 
and strength but it's mellower it's smoother and, and that's kind of the best way i can describe it so yeah very 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 happy with it love it um yeah that's all i can say about it. have you tried this yet uh, are you looking forward to trying it all right thanks folks bye